we're in a car outside what may look like a target and if we're in a car that only means one thing road trips and we're searching for stuff and it's sunday today um but what we're searching for today is not just pokemon cards i mean we're gonna check inventory for pokemon cards too but it is sunday july 9th and today is the official drop date for the 20 inch snorlax squishmallow so you know we had to go find it so let's go we're gonna go try to see if we can find some and maybe take a look at inventory and find something to open up later on but let's go take a look see sunday july 9th it's like 9 30 something right now i'm actually late because target opens at like eight o'clock target number one the usual small target that we usually go to but the inventory here is well loud the inventory for pokemon cards in this target is usually pretty decent recently so let's go take a look i didn't expect to see any here today because or at least not at this one because this one's a smaller one so the squish mellow section is not big enough to hold snorlaxes but now we check for cards oh wow they are pretty stocked today they've got battle decks lots of etbs lead decks a Clazar box lots of tins tins sorry i didn't show that earlier more tins oh i actually haven't opened these up yet but we got more etbs wow they have a lot of stuff Yu-Gi-Oh! MetaZoo, right, MetaZoo. They've got, ooh, Lord of the Rings. And more collectible stuff. So many tins. And there's two packs per, but I don't think I'm gonna get these, it's just because it's more tins that are sitting around doing nothing, which I have plenty enough already of. It is like foggy out here, but it's like bright foggy like it's cloudy and I hate that sometimes because it's not even sunny um, but yeah so small target not expecting a whole lot here um, wasn't expecting a whole lot here but we got two more bigger targets to go check out so let's go take a look at those okie dokie here we go again wow this is probably fairly stocked for a target that I've seen oh look fusion strike single blisters how they evolved. Double pack with an eraser. That's cute. Okay, Scarlet Violet Blisters. Got some more tins, ETBs. More tins, Crown Zenith. Cyclazar. All right, we got the Pogo tins. Battle Academies. Oh, that's right. New DVD Super. Oh. Right. Yu-Gi-Oh. Not bad for a selection. A bunch of other stuff that I don't really care about too much. Sports cards. Yeah. Hmm. What should I do? Oh, wow. They have one of these again. Legendary Duelist. I don't think I've ever opened these, but... All good. Right, Yu-Gi-Oh! rebranded, like they redid their blisters, because this is how they used to do their blister packs for the individual booster packs, but now they're doing like this style, like the Pokemon, Dragon Ball Super, Digimon ones. Cool. Alright, let's go check the back for Squishmallows. So nothing in the back. I don't think this is where they had the Squishmallows, but no Pokemon cards hanging from the back. Found that. All right. Hmm. This is where we found Squishmallows last time, but I don't see anything here. I found Giant Eevee, Pikachu, and Dragonite. Say hi, Dragonite. Hi. Squishmallows, but no Pokemon. That one's on sale. Still nothing. I found more Nintendo Pokemon things, but no Squishmallow section. I don't even know if there's, they didn't have a Squishmallow section listed. More plushies, Mimikyu. Hi Dragonite. So striking out on target number two, um, and 
they have a lot of inf inventory, they have a lot of stock, it's just the hard part is that they don't really have much of the, the things that I want or am missing or haven't opened yet. So it's like, I see it, but I'm not too tempted to buy anything, per se. Let me know if like you think that I should have picked some stuff up. But yeah, let's go target number three. Target number three, last one, let's go. Wow, this place is actually pretty stocked up. Crown Zenith tins, more legends. But up top, they got a fair amount. More Fusion Strike. Plenty of Fusion Strike. More Fusion Strike. How they evolved. Scarlet by the base. Silver Tempest. It seems like. Let's see. What is. How they evolve. Check lane blisters. Hmm. Yeah, they actually have a lot of stuff. Wow. One Piece starter decks. More legendary duelists. Yu Gi Oh! GX. Egyptian God decks. Non first edition ones. Structure deck. Trap tricks. More Yu Gi Oh! Saga of the Blue Eyes White Dragon Unlimited print. Ha! Ah. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Hmm. What do I want? Wait, no, we gotta check for Snorlax Squishmallows. Okay, not much of an inventory back here. Shiny Zacian. But nothing else. Oh, shiny Zacian again. Nothing else. And this is where Pokemon cards would normally be. Oh, clearance. But I don't see any Squishmallows. Still no Snorlax Squishmallow. Where is it? So earlier, I saw the Magic the Gathering draft boosters. I saw the set booster. But then I just noticed the collector boosters. Let's go price check this. Because they already found the one ring. Nope, nope, nope. Put it back, put it back, put it back. You can stay right there with your price tag. Set boosters are $8.49, draft boosters $6.49. Like, how? These prices, and even look, these booster packs right there, the hang ones, they're actually $4.99. I price checked these. They are $4.99. What? So not only are we 0 for 3 today on Snorlax Squishmallows, but you see why I don't buy things at retail shops anymore? Because price, I mean, like, prices were always pretty expensive. Sorry, crossing the road right now, I gotta look both ways. But prices were, you know, I didn't like the old, I didn't, the old, I, everything seems okay now. The old prices are okay now because of what they've cost now. I think when I first started collecting again, booster packs at Target were like $4.19, now they're $4.99. Like, what? It's like, ah, I can't do it, I can't do it. That's why I don't buy things. There is stuff on the shelves. But I just can't justify stuff, justify the price tag. I gotta test out this camera, this camera to make sure it actually works. You gotta make sure it works. Hello, hello, YouTube. Questful one fifty one. Back at it again. Mhm. Mm That's right. I got one. I got one. Cool. Stay right there. Okay, so. You may be wondering how it is that I actually got one, because in the video earlier, like, pause, rewind. Now, you all may be thinking, Quest, you just said there were none on the floor. How'd you find one? What happened? It's because I ordered it online. Um, yeah, I know. I, I mean, I still wanted to hunt. It's just like, I ordered this online just in case I couldn't find one on the floor, but well, they sold out. Uh, but it turns out they have, they had, <laughs> at the time that I went to the store, uh, they didn't stock it yet. Uh, they said they had none on the floor, but they showed that they had seven in their inventory. I was like, oh, weird. Well, it's a good thing I ordered one. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known and I wouldn't have found it. Obviously, I didn't find one in stores, but I actually managed to order some online. 
Uh, order one online. Um, my friend messaged me last night. It was 2 a.m. Sunday. I just happened to be awake. And uh, they were like, oh, um, the Snorlax is available to order um, and pick up for on ta Target app. So what happens is that you go to the Target app. You see if it's available for pickup, you select a store that may have it in stock, and then you can add it to the cart, and then it processes your order. Sometimes it get canceled. It will, it can get canceled if they don't have any in stock. And the last time we tried to do it with the Pikachu one, um, you couldn't really do it. Or uh, if you ordered more than one, if even if it gets canceled, if it gets canceled, you're only allowed to purchase like one a day. So it's... Your miles may vary, but I put it in an order, it was processing, and then when I woke up in the morning to go pick it up, like, it, it, the order was processed. So, um, stay on the lookout for that, because they didn't have any on the floor. Like, they had may have been all swooped up by people using the apps or whatnot. But, that's just what happened, that's how I got mine, and you know for next time, in case there are future Squishmallows that you want, or the Snorlax one, or the Togepi one, comes back in stock. I'm still not sure if I'm going to get the Togepi one, Togepi one. This one's already super cute. I'm good with this one. And uh, to be honest, I'm running out of space and I have no space for more Squishmallows. But, um, where's my stuff? Right. So, in addition to our Squishmallow hunt, um, I didn't see anything in these stores that I really, really liked per se. So, what I did actually, so I did get a, wow, English is hard. So, quest for one, <laughs> um, English is hard today. I didn't see anything in the stores that I really liked. It was a lot of Crown Zena stuff, a lot of uh, Scarlet and Violet stuff, and I wasn't really interested in the, the price tags that they had for it, as I said in the videos. So I did go to my local game store, and they had these uh, Tyranitar and Empoleon V, the V Striker uh, tins, I believe is what they're called. Um, yeah, they're called the V Strikers tins, and if you saw us open these the last time with the two Empoleon ones. Um, they did have uh, Evolving Skies packs in them, so I'm hoping that they have them again. However, no one's really sure if they do. I'm not sure. There's no, like, unfortunately, on the tin itself, there's no, like, usually there would be, like, a code for the tin product production on these things, but there's no code on these uh, to really to signify which print run they are so that makes it a little bit more difficult um i was actually in a store in uh, in a very in a town that i don't go to often and i picked up a fairly interesting lot of cards that i think i want to show off to you guys because i mean i picked these up because um they're very nostalgic for my childhood and i don't you don't see these cards every day um granted yes they are Yu-Gi-Oh. But you don't see these very often because uh, they don't make these packs anymore for most of them. So we did end up getting like a movie promo pack, uh, Obelisk the Tormentor. Um, I did get two. Okay. And I'll show you the price tag that they, they were selling them for that I got them for. And I mean, I the movie, the movie promo, it's like I never opened up the actual promo. Um, the 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 promo packs for this thing but i thought the artwork on the obelisk the tormentor was really cool so that's why i bought these um let's see we did get the the golden rare um the golden secret rare leaf energy from fusion strike these are pretty clean i was like ah secret rares are you know they're hard to pull and i don't find them very often i was like ah might as well since i'm already buying so many cards here um since I already bought so many cards, or I had a lot of cards that I was about to purchase. So, Fire Energy, Secret Rare as well from Fusion Strike. We have a Ultimate Rare. That is the reason why I kind of bought some of these cards. We have an Ultimate Rare, Silent Swordsman's Level 3. Okay. So, first edition. Not the best condition. That's okay. But I bought these because they're nostalgic. Because it's, you know, they're ultimate rares. You don't see ultimate rares very often. This one's a scapegoat from Starter Deck Joey, first edition. It's not worth a lot. It's worth probably less than the dollar that I paid, the three dollars that I paid for it. But, you know, Starter Deck Joey. Why not, right? We have a one dollar, the 
Brow, Huntsman of Dark World. Again, another ultimate rare. Not one that I grew up with, but it's an ultimate rare. And I was like, whatever, it's a dollar, right? Now, this one's a Silent Swordsman, level five, also an ultimate rare. Um, just because I think the ultimate rares, the design and the hollow patterning um, of it is really cool. And so that's why I bought them. And they were like, you know, a couple bucks each, a couple bucks each. Not going to exactly break the bank. However, now we get into the cards that I did want. Specifically, I wanted this Horus the Black Flame Dragon level eight from a, uh, a set called Soul of the Duelist. Okay. And I, this is the unlimited print. However, I did have this card as a kid um, when I was younger. See, that's probably why it's so cheap, right? But I did have this card when I was younger and I really enjoyed having an ultimate rare. And I this, this takes me back to when I opened Yu-Gi-Oh packs in my childhood, like in Chinatown, like buying packs in Chinatown is what I did. This is Horus the Black Flame Dragon level eight, uh, first edition ultra rare so not an ultimate rare but this the same card came in two different versions the ultra rare which is this one i'm holding in my hand this one's first edition and then it came in the more sought after ultimate rare right and but then this one's the unlimited print right so not first edition and then this one is a this one was a one dollar i think this one was kind of a steal ultimate rare horus the black flame dragon level four okay um, again, not worth the whole lot, probably on the market per se, but I specifically bought these cards because they were nostalgic for me. Okay. This is a super rare Horus the Black Flame Dragon level six. And I definitely remember having, I definitely remembered having some of these cards. And so I've kind of been like, you know, on the lookout for these cards. See, this one's super nicked. This one's like moderately played. This was definitely more of MP level maybe heavily played um but i remember having some of these cards when i was younger and that's why i bought them that's really i mean that's that's a perfect reason for anyone to buy cards in general right as long as it doesn't break the bank right um so i hope you enjoyed that trip down memory lane with me but i really just wanted the ultimate rares and i was like i saw some of the other ones and i was like yeah why not why not we'll pick these up especially the the gold cards because they're gold cards you don't come by them very often um and uh i was at my local game store i bought these you know these tins and they also had the setup for um the lord of the rings tales of middle earth uh promo thing that they were having so you take a polaroid picture and then you put it into like this thing that makes you into a human token um, and this is basically my face whenever I ask them to ring me up for cards that I'm going to buy. That was a neat little thing to have. So we're going to open up the Tyranitar and the Empoleon V both today. Um, I will be very severely disappointed if they do not have any Evolving Skies in them because I'm pretty sure this came out during the print run. The it's This is the re-wave. This isn't the original print run, I believe. This is the second one. Of the second, at least the more recent wave of this tin. And I'm really hoping that it has Evolving Skies. So, moment of truth. Bruh. Brilliant stars. They have brilliant stars in them. Ugh, okay. All right. Well, we tried. Brilliant stars, brilliant stars, brilliant stars. <laughs> Usually they come with some sort of pack variety. Uh, not this time, apparently. They are all brilliant stars in the Napoleon, and let's see if I, I, I'm sure Tyranitar is going to be the same. But let's see if Tyranitar gives us any, because they, that oh, brilliant, those are all brilliant stars. And mind you, like brilliant stars is a fine set. All brilliant stars. Yep, all brilliant stars. Here we go. We're opening up ten packs of brilliant stars today, folks. Oh, oh well. All right, Tyranitar V, sort that out later. All right, we're opening up Brilliant Stars today. Woo, hoo. Um, yeah, still gotta get that Charizard. Still gotta get that Hyper Rare Charizard. No, I say Hyper Rare because that's what they used to say in the GX days um, for Sun and Moon. But it is the, the Rainbow Rare Charizard V-Star. We still haven't gotten that one yet. And the Charizard V Full Art Alt Art. So. Uh, still plenty of trainer galleries that we don't have. We have Grottle and a Golurk, non-hollow rare. All right, 
So, oh no, I bent the code card. Oops. At least it wasn't a regular card. Or like a, the rare slot. If it was the rare slot, I'd be very, very sad. All right, here we go. Let's go. Ace of is Premonition, Pot Helmet, Magmar. I'm gonna have so much more sorting to do later. Burmy. Wow, that is a really, really badly printed Bidoof. This is gonna go in my error binder, but what the heck? It's like, wow, that is really, really bad. Like, that is ultra messed up. This is like almost like repackaged messed up. This is sus. This is really sus. I'm very, very suspicious right now because that looks really bad. Oh my gosh. Like, this doesn't even look like it was like messed up. This looks like someone re. Like, oh wow. This is. I can't tell if that's an error or not. It doesn't look like it's an error. Wow. Badoof. I'm so sorry. You've been poorly treated, my friend. Poorly, poorly treated. And I, these came out. I, I watched them take this out of a case, too. Like, this was in a sealed case that they got from their back storage. Okay. Well. Oops, I miscounted. All right, cool. Gabite, reverse. Um, this is still on 110. Wow, that was uh, that's kind of rough. This printing is so weird. All right, Monferno. Gloria, Starmie, focus in there for me, Cub Chew, Duskull. Okay, we're gonna lock in the focus here. All right, Farfetch'd, Execute, Grimer, Reverse Rare Tornadus, Haxorus. Wow, not even a trainer gallery. So far, so bad. What is this? All brilliant stars and all terrible packs? Wow, this is... Oh my gosh. All right. Wow. It's Probo Pass. Prim Flow. Come on. This is the last pack in one tin. Okay. This is pack number five that we're opening up in one tin. Okay. Burmy Reverse and a Raikou V. Ultra rare. Okay. At least we got one thing out of Brilliant Star so far. Raikou V. All right. Second tin. I don't remember which tin was in what order. But so far, I'm not liking either of them because they're all the same pack variety. If I wanted to do this, I would have just picked up 10 packs of Brilliant Stars separately and not paid like the premium that it is for this because this was $24.99 for the tin um, plus tax. So it brings it up to like, and for 10 packs, it's like $5.50 per pack, right? And I could have just probably bought it for like four bucks a pack. Speaking of which, the pricing at retail stores now, Probo Pass, Reverse, and another Haxorus. Um, pricing at like retail stores, like $4.99 for a, a, just a hanging booster pack at Target? Like what? Why? How? Oh my gosh. Like it's, it's very like discouraging to collectors and I get it. Like, you know production costs and stuff like that but it's like it's very discouraging um i realized today because i haven't opened up any build and battle stadiums but the build and battle stadiums for scarlet and violet packs reverse star arabia lucario hollow rare now uh build and battle stadiums for um scarlet and violet sets um they only have they have the two uh they have the two build and battle kits but it only comes with three additional packs instead of four now so there's only 11 packs and it's the same price like what why why would you do that trap inch piplup reverse execute wormadam wow okay um oh uh, i don't know man i don't know this this uh this tin is very suspicious both tins are very suspicious. Fire. Barney's pride. Oh, my pride. My pride is hurt. My pride. My ego is hurt now. Insulted. Chimchar. Thoughts Come on. 
Come on. Electivire vs. Hollow Rare. Professor's Research. Hollow Rare. Okay, cool. Last pack. All right, our, our only come up today is the fact, I mean, not our only come up, but the come up of today is the fact that we've got the Snorlax Squishmallow. So that's the win. That's the win of the day. Okay. And Raiko V. It's the win of the day. Unless we end off with like a Charizard right here. Psychic. Blunder policy. This 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 opening was a blunder. Everything everything up until the card opening was 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 fine. And then the opening itself is a blunder. I like to bus. Hound Doom. Trainer Gallery. I'm pretty sure I've got like four of these things. Still cool. I will take it. Hound Doom is still Hound Doom. Hound Doom. Trainer Gallery. And for our last pull, warm it up. Okay, so we've got one ultra rare, a couple of hollows, and a trainer gallery. Sorry, the winds, the winds have to go to the horse of the black flame dragons. All right, that's the win of the day. These are my favorite pickups. I'm gonna leave these right here. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Snorlax Squishmallow. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.